If you're looking for brand new Wi-Fi 6 mesh routers, you may not want to miss out this budget-friendly tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh router from TP-Link. This is the TP-Link Deco X68. Hi, my name is Joshua Wong. Welcome to Fastway episode 45. I do short and fast tech reviews on this channel. That's how the name came about. For information, I'm staying in a three-story townhouse and I have these dead zone issues on the top floor where I can't get 5 GHz Wi-Fi signals from the stock routers and I can only rely on the slow 2.4 GHz. Today, I'll be upgrading my routers to the TP-Link Deco X68. Before the installations, let me share with you the TP-Link Deco X68 designs and specifications. It's designed in a cylinder-shaped matte white finish and has a black glossy top. Antennas are hidden around it, make it easy to blend into any house team's design. There are two gigabit internet port on the back along with a power inlet. The Tipling Deco X68 comes in a pack of two or three with coverage up to 7,000 square feet. It offers bandwidth up to 3600 megabit per second network speed. Powered by quad core CPUs, support multi user MIMOS, 1024 QAM, target wake time, BSS colors, and the wide bandwidth connections allow it to connect up to 150 devices. The TP-Link Deco X68 can be easily configured with the use of TP-Link Deco apps that support on both Android and iOS. There are two methods to connect the TP-Link Deco X68. First is to connect directly to your stock routers and configure it with dynamic settings options. Make sure to set up with a different SSID names. With this, you can retain your IPTVs and DAC phone. The second method is to replace the stock routers completely. Setting it up with PPPoE where this will require you to retrieve the username and password from your ISP if you do not have one. Next is to set up the second mesh on a different area to expand the Wi-Fi coverage. It can be done wirelessly or you could get a faster and stable connection by opting for Ethernet backhaul. It will require both mesh to be connected with a LAN cable. This is good for those Bangsawan who stay in 3 stories or 4 stories bungalow with readily concealed LAN wires within the house. You'll be assured to have best internet qualities within the premise. For my test, I put a 20 meter LAN wire from my living room to my master bedrooms on the second floor. Here the speed test without comparing the stock routers with TP-Link Deco X68 on wireless backhaul and internet backhaul. As you can see, the Deco X68 wireless backhaul performed very well with close up to 70% of the speed that I subscribed. This is thanks to the TP-Link AI-driven mesh that intelligently learns the network environments to provide the best Wi-Fi signals. Coming to the wired backhaul, it getting 100%, which is stupid fast. You can expect a solid fast internet speed performance from the TP-Link Deco X68, regardless wireless or internet backhaul. The TP-Link Deco X68 also comes with TP-Link Home Shoe, offer real-time IoT protections, network protections, and parental controls. It also features QoS quality of service that enable you to prioritize which devices have the fastest connections for more stable and lower latency. This is good news to those who enjoy gaming and need a stable internet connections. You can get the TP-Link Deco X68 for RM1299 making it the most affordable tri-band whole home mesh Wi-Fi 6 router. If you're looking for more advanced routers that can have separate SSID, VPN clients, USB port for private cloud buildings, you can consider the TP-Link Archers X73 which I highly recommend. That's all from me on the TP-Link Deco X68. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment box below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you at the next one.